Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to rotoscope in After Effects and will also explore roto tools and specs. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first of all, I'm going to import my video footage into After Effects. Then I'll select the video footage, drag it onto the new composition icon and release it so it creates a new composition. Right now the clip is quite long, more than 30 seconds. So I trimmed the work area to 5 seconds. And now we have a 5 second timeline. After that, I pre-composed this layer, named it Video, clicked the icon and pressed OK. Next, I selected the Roto Brush tool and double-clicked the layer. So you will see this kind of workspace opened. You can also see several icons here that we'll talk about later. Now the cursor changes to a circle. If I hold control and drag the mouse, I can change the brush size. Once satisfied with the size, I draw a rough stroke over the subject I want to cut out or rotoscope. And when I release, After Effects automatically detects the subject. Sometimes it doesn't detect the subject correctly, like in our case. So all you need to do is hold Alt on the keyboard, so our circle change into a red circle, and now we can deselect the area which we don't want, and it will automatically reshape the masking line like this. Then I refine the boundary manually as needed. And after that, if you can see on the hair it's very thin, so we can't use this on this part, so for this we have another tool called Refine Edge Tool. So simply I select it and then I draw over the edges on the hair like this. So it will detect the hair precisely. And then I also draw this stroke over the face as well like this. And then I'm going down to the body so it will perfectly refine the edges of our character. After that, let's check out our small icons. So, if I click this one, you can see After Effects detect the alpha channel. And if I click this one, so you can see the masking lines on our characters. And this one is Alpha Overlay, which is very helpful whenever you try to rotoscoping. Because we can see the background clearly and we can also change the background opacity from here. Now, I select our default icon, which is this one, Refine Edges tool. Right now, After Effects rotoscope only one frame. So all we need to do is press space on the keyboard and After Effects start rotoscoping. This process takes some time, so be patient and let After Effects do their job. After Effects rotoscope this scene frame by frame, so it will take some time when After Effects done their job, all we need to do is go back to our composition. And now you can see we got our character on the transparent background. And now we can add a background in this com. And we can also add text. And place it in the background like this. That's how to rotoscope in After Effects and use these features. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.